low cut, it really is. It's the very best, very best materials without reference to cost. This is beautiful. That's why they are Peter Dodds here. has the ear and the credit card of the royal family. He selects all their luxury items. And this is Chemin Nassim. A sweet opening, but Chimel not a sweet. Is but yes. this is also a Chemin Nassim. Florentine mm. Oris, so very, very expensive Oris. Um, and um, it's becoming my favourite. It's a favourite out in the Gulf. We've used really, really lovely materials. We've gone, gone for it and we've done it properly. Mm -hmm. So um, it's a real it's pleasure to, really really to really share some really, 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 huh? Oh, that's it's gorgeous. This is the picture of really your grand, grand, grand mother. Oh, that is really, this is the perfume. Really lovely. Powdered. Really lovely. Powdered. Mm. She loved it, this one, believe me. And it's a gorgeous one, but it really was. Yeah. Yes. 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 Wear by, uh, by ladies also. Yes. yes. This is so, very... Yes. Hello, good morning. It's the palace. Yes, good morning. State business. OK, in three o'clock, have the swimming pool ready. All right. Yes, please, yeah. All right, thank you very much. Bye. Yeah, so, yeah. so this is the spicy one? Fula. This is the fula. Fula. Riches of the Middle East, gold-plated. You are the first one who mm. discovered the uh, yes. kingdom. So that is. Mm. Hello. The palace again. Fine, thank you, sir. Yes, how are you, sir? Good, thank you. Yeah, he is aware of this. He will um, inform uh, Major Carla to uh, arrange this. Yes? OK. No problem. All right, sir, no problem. Inshallah. OK, sir, sure, thank you. Bye-bye, bye-bye. Thank you, welcome. <laughs> yes. So I have a, I have a little gift for you, which uh, I'd be very grateful if you will accept. There's a two mil vial of each of the three oh, in there for you. Okay, beautiful. Thank you, sir. I think because there's always been a stigma in the West to a certain mm -hmm. extent that you know men shouldn't go and have a manicure or they shouldn't. It was a shame. It was a shame. It, it, it wasn't a manly thing to do, you know. Yeah. But of course now men. Mm -hmm. You know, in in the Arabic part mm. of the world, and even sort of in far eastern parts, mm. I think they tend to look after themselves better than mm. probably we do in the West. Yeah. It's part of their culture. Yeah. It's part of their culture. Yeah. Pleasant journey back. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What a charming man. Yes. <laughs> the brothers in action. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Dealings with the palace are hush-hush, not rush-rush. Simon and Bashir head for the airport and Oman, the next kingdom in need of their fragrance. In Brazil, it's morning for Anne Gottlieb. Her first Axe focus group didn't yield reliable results. The second must deliver the local stamp of approval for her new body spray. Gottlieb has just 12 hours left in Brazil. These teens have more power than they know. Hi, I'm Anne Gottlieb. This looks like a perfect group, absolutely perfect. They're, they're certainly the age. In, in just thinking about what my expectations were, this is, this is it. Now I would like you to introduce yourselves. I'm Fernandes, I am 20 years old. I 20. study civil engineering. I'm engaged. Ooh. I use a deodorant to make me feel confident, you know, that it will work. What, how do you 
apply the deodorant. You mean to show it? Yeah, it's a aerosol, you know, it's a spray. So I go like this. Look at him, <laughs> all over the place. Then I apply it on my body as well, in my, when I'm going to play soccer. Right the now. test version of Axe has and correctly predicted their tastes. When I'm watching respondents in a focus group, I watch their faces as well as anything else because their eyes and facial expressions speak volumes about what their nose is perceiving. I think it's very good. What does it make you think of? It's a strong smell of flowers, I think. I've tried some boxes. This is the best, the best of all. This is a type of deodorant that if you spray it on your body, you don't need to wear perfume. A distinctive smell and it's pleasant, it's good. It, yeah, it reminds me of a fine fragrance. It reminds me of uh, <laughs> the guest bathroom. Guest bathroom when you have uh, like good soaps, you know, or flower scent. It smells of woman, you know, of women. It's like a woman's perfume, a woman fragrance. No. The other brand, the other fragrances, I don't think construction workers would you could use, but not this one. This one they wouldn't use. It's interesting. Oh. <laughs> right, I guess that that's their idea of plumbers or yeah. something, right? Because I like chocolate. <laughs> because Every woman likes chocolate, mm -hmm. so the mix of the chocolate with my chocolate works well. It's, it smells like coconut. And I think of Malibu, the drink. Oh, Malibu. Oh, meninos. Olha, eu trouxe aqui a moça que faz as fragrâncias do Axe. Yeah, it made me so happy because this is the newest one, and I'm so glad you liked it. I heard that you thought that it smelled a little bit feminine, and men's fragrances are going in that direction. But who said that there was coconut? Mas quem falou que tinha um cheiro de coco? There is. And, and you like chocolate, right? It's like, it's sort of like the chocolate fragrance where it's very yummy. And the truth is that things that appeal to your mouth are sexy and they appeal to your nose too. That's what makes you think it's sexy. Isn't that what we had some concerns about the fact that this was a brand new fragrance and that it was a little bit on the feminine side. And so it was reassuring to hear that even though they perceived that, it was fine. What I also did find about this, and it certainly plays into the, um, my own knowledge of the Brazilians, is they're happy. And they sat here talking about fragrance in loving terms. And that's exactly why I have such faith that this country is going to just fly ahead of everybody else in terms of fragrance usage. Gottlieb heads home to make the spray even more of a must-have for these boys. Simon and Amanda's scents already enjoy must-have status in the Gulf states. We've, we've been very fortunate. We've had lots of cover of, of in, in this sort of magazine, a whole section dedicated to our launch in Qatar. Now, the breeze has carried the heady fragrance into Central Asia. We have an order from Kazakhstan, and he had gone into Roger's perfumery and um, seen our perfume, smelt it, and just thought it was stunning, and sent me an email from, uh, from Amati in Kazakhstan, and we'll ship out to Kazakhstan. His Victorian potions have served him well. But how long before Simon changes direction and makes something more modern? It's an aim of ours to innovate. We've got to innovate the business to keep it going. Um, and innovation means new perfumes, not just going to our back catalogue and taking, ah, oh, this one was jolly good, let's, let's have a go at that. Um, I don't think we're going to be doing that um, with many of our, or many of our perfumes. I think we, we will innovate, uh, and that'll, That'll be a big thing. Will it be successful? Will it be liked? Will it, uh, uh, will it have the romance?
Good morning, everybody, and uh, welcome. I would like to introduce Simon Brook, who owns the house of Grossman. Thank you very much. Mm. Well, thank you very much, Roger, and uh, thank you very much, everybody, for coming along this morning. The Brooks face a challenge. Their lineage is their strength, but brands that are only about the past risk becoming museums. Simon and Amanda's next fragrances must nod to their antique heritage, but smell of the 21st century. We launched with three classic English perfumes. Perfumes in the future for us will be based on the original, and then we go on this journey, and then we modernize. You've got to think that the, the market, you're, you're creating something that you want to make people feel young. You want to change their perception of, of their age, and that's one of the obstacles, one of the hurdles that we need to overcome, I think, a little bit in the UK. In New York, scent guru Anne Gottlieb is still hard at work on the Lynx account. The input of the Brazilian teenagers is reshaping the next version. A tremendous amount of work followed the trip to Brazil. We were going for something that was a little richer and darker a fragrance, and as a result of having the focus group opinions of, of all the people that we, we um, polled, We've started adding more freshness to the fragrances, a little bit of fruitiness. What's true for Axe is being replicated across the fragrance industry. What may have been businesses driven by the States or being driven by Europe are gonna be driven by China, by Brazil, by India, um, and marketers are gearing up for that. And we're looking at a cultural shift right now. So it may well be that tastes will shift and in 10 years we will be impacted by what the Chinese like. The Western fragrance industry is trying to get to grips with the tastes of China, Brazil and India. But how long before these new markets are doing it for themselves? replacing the smell of perspiration with the sweet scent of aspiration. Another chance to catch this evening's Art Deco icon here on BBC4 tonight at quarter to two with a trip to London Transport Headquarters. And coming up next this evening, we're heading back to Glamour's Golden Age. <laughs>